Hey yo, what's up you guys? I gotta make a short video on this review because guess what? Apparently I don't have enough linens. I'm sorry that I'm kind of raging, but I just cleaned it a bunch and it only gave me one minute more. One minute and like 35 seconds more. Ticks me off. So, here's DC Multiverse. Uh, spoiler, uh, you got the box, got artwork, you got more artwork. Okay, I'm gonna try to not like be like rage at this, but got the artwork here, artwork there, artwork there. Seems that I put this in the wrong way when I was putting this back. DC Multiverse, spoiler, DC logo on the top. Back at all the figures in this Connect and Collect wave, which is some overpowered Lex Luthor. I don't want any other figures in this wave. Uh, it's got Bio, uh, recruited by Batwoman into boot camp. The Violent Vindicator joins forces with the top heroes in Gotham City. Now before I do this, if I don't have her, like, because like, I know, like, when I review, sometimes I like to put characters into, like, poses. I can't think of any care like, any pose to put her into, because I don't know much about her. I haven't seen a lot of comic panels with her in it. The only comic panels I've really seen her in it is when she's with Tim. Speaking of, that'll be one of the comparisons I show, because that's, yeah. But I'll show you off the two accessories. Before we go, she comes with a head for Lex Luthor. I don't know if I'll even build this, but if I do, hey, I got a piece down. And then there's, I think this is like a three-point staff or something like that. Or like, because it can, it can combine into a staff. But then it can split up like this. I think you can actually, if you fold it like this. I saw somebody put it behind her Come on. Yeah, there we go. You can put it there. I don't know if you can see it. It kind of looks a little funny, but... I put it behind her back. And that's where it's going to stay for right now. But this is Spoiler, a.k.a. Stephanie Brown. Now, I do not know much about this character other than she's a part of the Bat family. She was one of, she's like the only female Robin, the second Batgirl, which I do not approve of. Fight me. Barbara Gordon will be the best. Uh, she mainly is with Tim Drake. Uh, so there's that. She kind of works closely with the Outsiders too. Uh, I don't know where she's been in recent comics. She's definitely not with the Bat family while well, they're fighting and beating the crap out of Flashpoint Batman recently. Well, then again, he beat the crap out of them, so I don't know. Uh, other than that, I don't know much. Uh, I know she's a vigilante. Yeah. I think she was a part of the Birds of Prey. Am I wrong? Why do you all have to come in here? Both the cat, the two of my cats are in here. But anyways, we're we'll looking at her. So... Very nicely painted. No really, like, hash marks except for, like, right there on the face. And you can't even see it. Uh, but where there's purple, there's purple, there's black, there's black. Nice lines. Nice sculpted detail. I don't know too many of the molds, so... This cape's kind of, like... Like, I know it's, like, a cape, and you can't really... It's an interesting upper thigh swivel. Uh, you got the sculpted lines details, stuff like that. So, I'm glad to have her a part of my Bat family, though. And I'm going to have to hurry this up. So, we'll get a look at the articulation. She can serve side to side. Can, she cannot look up that much. She cannot look down at all. Her arm goes out all the way. Goes down all the way down. It's got a bicep swivel and a single jointed elbow with a swivel, which I don't know why they do that. Her wrist hinge and swivel. She got this like kind of like diaphragm pivot. And then she has a waist swivel as well. Her legs can kick out that far, back that far. Got an upper thigh swivel. A single joint of knee. Ankle moves down. Moves up. She's got ankle pivot. 
And yeah, that's it. That's literally her articulation. That was fast. But we'll get this comparison. I need this comparison. Arguably, probably the best DC multiverse figure. Red Robin. And they scale up pretty good. They scale, but she's pretty tiny. She's actually kind of tiny. Holy crap. Compared to her mans over here. But they do look great next to each other. And I can't wait to see them on shelf together. That's nice. I have a Tim Drake, Stephanie Brown, Jason Todd, Dick Grace, and a Barbara Gordon. Uh, for Robins, I still need Damian Wayne. Yeah. I, I did find a DC Multiverse Damian Wayne. I don't know how good that figure is. I'm going to look for a review on that. If it's at least a decent figure, I might consider trying to get it. Uh, but a lot of the stuff that's in the Amazon cart now is for Christmas stuff. So, yeah. But anyways, I don't know what's going to happen this weekend. I'm just going to say that real quick. But, you know, I don't know what video I'm going to have tomorrow. But here's that last one look at them. That is the DC Multiverse spoiler. Hopefully you enjoy this review. I don't... Uh, I'm sure happy to have her. Uh, like I said, hopefully I can get... See, there we go. That's... If you do that, it looks a little better. I'm going to have her pose a little bit like this. Something like that. I don't know. Uh, hopefully, I get Batwoman and Robin. But yeah, so I'm gonna end the video here because I'm almost out of minutes. Uh, don't worry, I'll fix the problem. I don't think it's anything too much to worry about. But I'll see you in the next one. Peace.